21st century, an age of peace and prosperity for mankind. The people of the new century happily occupy themselves with daily routines, oblivious of a new enemy lurking around us. An enemy invisible to our eyes has quietly infiltrated our society. It targets our infrastructure and even our own bodies. A biofilm is essentially a, a structure made up of um, many different substances such as bacteria and starchy sort of substances that hold bacteria together and it often forms on a surface. It's been estimated that around 60% or more of infections by microorganisms are because they're causing a biofilm, because they're growing on a surface somewhere in our body. The hideous enemies glue themselves onto surfaces and they are here to stay. And a lot of them use DNA. As, as part of this glue. Now it's actually a, a very large molecule and it's very sticky and when a cell dies it releases the DNA and that becomes part of the glue that holds the cells onto a surface. They protect the microbes um, from antibiotics so it becomes much more difficult to treat biofilm related infections. They are almost stronger in greater numbers. Um, the outside bacteria of the biofilm might be killed but the bacteria and the, the depths of the biofilm can almost be protected from some of the agents we use on them and can survive and then grow again. As we look around, more and more biofilms appear. They are everywhere. Biofilms form pretty much anywhere that you've got some kind of interface. One very good example is dental plaque, which is a biofilm on the surface of our teeth. They grow on the hulls of ships and feed barnacles which then come and stick to the ships and the ships get coated and then the increased drag costs huge amounts to the marine industry when ships are travelling across the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The enemy's attack will not go unanswered. Scientists at Newcastle University are rising to the challenge. Marine biologists at the Dove Centre stumbled upon something unusual when examining biofilms on the humble sea. And so the marine group um, started looking for possible natural compounds present in the marine environment that might actually help to remove biofilms from the hulls of ships. And they ultimately purified what turned out to be an enzyme that degrades DNA. A single enzyme that comes from a microorganism that lives on the surface of the seaweed can chop up DNA from anywhere. Armed with this enzyme, a new weapon will be forged. A weapon that will efficiently attack biofilms. Biofilms are such a big issue across the globe in so many different industries and all sorts of different chemical plants and fouled by biofilms. They, in the oil industry they corrode pipelines and, and then the oil leaks out and you lose all, all the oil so it's, they're worth millions of pounds so there are lots of possibilities. War is upon us. We will claim back our territory surface by surface and we will start with our own bodies. Natural biofilms, things like the speech valve biofilms, biofilms formed by bacteria in, in chronic rhinosinusitis, um, biofilms formed by common dental plaque bacteria, they all contain a lot of DNA and when we treat them with an enzyme, um, they actually disperse and, and a lot of the cells come off the surface. We're also looking at contact lens cleaning, um, washing powders and, and various other applications. Potentially further down the line, an approach like this could be very widely useful. Although more time and efforts will be needed for further research, with the expertise and dedication of researchers at Newcastle, one thing is certain, we will eventually prevail.